Howdy. The clock says it's 11 in the morning. I don't believe it. <laughs> I just got back from Portugal and it's from real time on the West Coast. Maybe Barb will come on. Hey, there she is. Hey. And save me. What are you doing? Welcome back. Thank you. Thank you. I was briefly in your time zone. <laughs> That's right. You were in Toronto. We were in Pearson for quite a few hours. Like, like longer than what you were supposed to be? Just a bit, but not as long as some people's luggage. So, Oh, my goodness. Oh, my <laughs> goodness. I can't wait to travel in September <laughs> after at, hearing all the stories. At least we're going direct. That makes yes. a big difference. It's those yeah. layovers that they just add so much more chaos and so much yeah. potential for things to go wrong, right? Well, and people miss their connecting flights. I know when my sister Jan came from Victoria here, uh, her luggage did not arrive with her. She didn't get her luggage till I think three days after she was here. So she said yeah. she wore the same underwear, the same t-shirt, everything. <laughs> We're like, I'm like, great, really glad I saw you. <laughs> Well, I saw something on the news. So Heathrow is having all sorts of problems and yeah. they've, they've put huge limitations. I saw that Air Canada flew a whole plane with a thousand suitcases, no people, just back from Heathrow. <laughs> it, these are really yeah. interesting times that we're living in, right? Very interesting times. Yes. Well, hey guys, say hello. Tell us you're here. <laughs> um, yeah. we, haven't seen, we haven't seen you in a few weeks and I know I everybody's know. on everybody's on summer hiatus it feels yeah. like it's kind of quiet on the internet which isn't a bad thing it is actually quiet hey are you i almost wore what i think you're wearing i almost wore Hi, what i thought i'd get in trouble for wearing that because you know <laughs> should should i not wear it should no I you can it? wear it because i duck. can't see i can't see the logo so <laughs> i really want i this close honestly i was like going okay. for it and i thought mm. We need to do the big reveal. Hey, Megan, how are you? You're back from your European vacation, too. That's right. That's right. I think she had a good one. I think so, too. I think, Megan, you went before the giant heat wave that is like hit all of Europe and mm -hmm. melted runways and, you know, for the forest fires everywhere. And yeah. Awful, awful. Yeah. Yeah. It's just, it was crazy. It was in the low to mid 40s for. Oh, a week while we were there. That's Celsius. So, yeah, that's Celsius. <laughs> case, you know, for, for Canadians, like 40 degrees Fahrenheit, that's really hot. <laughs> yeah, I think that's over 100. Oh, yeah, for sure it is. Yeah. I hey, haven't Douglas. experienced that except for one summer we went to Florida and it was that temperature. Yeah. We, and it was, you just sweat the whole time. Yeah, you do. You do. But you had an exciting before we, we have a guest today before we invite her on just update us on your um, adrenaline junkie filled. <gasps> well, yeah, no, this t shirt I did wear. Okay, it's backwards, but it says yeah. take me to the river. So I went to Ottawa, um, a place I have a city I've never been to before, believe it or not. And I went whitewater rafting um, with uh, three of my very good friends. And, and we had a blast. Actually, I was asking about it. I think on a couple of no brush required uh, episodes before, before we took our hiatus. Yes. And I have to say it was terrifying, but thrilling. And um, my yeah. two goal, my, my big goal was I didn't want to fall out of the raft. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> it's always mine. Yeah. That I did not want to fall out of the raft at all. And I succeeded. I did not. And um, I was terrified our raft would flip in the last big set of rapids that we did because the raft ahead of us the raft that went uh, before us it flipped and the you know the water in this particular uh set of rapids was just like a giant washing machine if you can imagine yeah. and uh it was scary as anything but we made it through and it was it was awesome it was awesome so, you felt very alive for a few minutes there, oh right? <laughs> my God extremely alive like <laughs> like adrenaline you, you have so much adrenaline going through you that when when we finished that set and we kind of pulled over to have a little snack break we were all shaking like yeah. I was like I was like shaking I had so much and it took me several minutes to kind of just like okay you're safe you're good yeah. you're not yeah, you're yeah. not upside down under a raft trying to figure out how to get out and you're not being sucked into this like hole in the rapids and so yeah. that was great and I loved Ottawa Ugh fell in love with Ottawa. Oh, good. Yeah. Good. 
Well, today is a special day, and we should probably oh, yeah. remind everybody. Um, my name is Tamara Grand, and this is Barbara Reed, and we have been doing a weekly live chat, almost weekly, um, with artists and about art, and just kind of interacting with our art community here on Instagram for one year now. You. Yes. Yes. I know it was amazing. It's so uh, great. And this just started. We thought it would be fun for us to go live to actually just have a conversation. So yeah. we didn't realize that we'd still be doing this a year later. Yeah, yeah. So. but it's evolved, and it, maybe there'll be some changes. We don't know what's coming up in the next year. But um, we have a friend of ours, and she's also a friend of No Brush Required because she's been on here before and chatted with us, and she's often in the audience. And I am going to grab her. Carrie Classen. Carrie. From California. Yay. From California. Yay. That's right. She's been invited to come on and join us. Well, and today we're gonna too, we're gonna think. talk about we're gonna talk about buying art. Why we buy yeah. art, why she buys art, why she likes to buy art from other artists. And uh, we'll open up the conversation to anybody who wants to join in. Carrie, uh, I'm gonna invite you again. Oh, there she is. She's coming. She's coming. Take that lens cap off your camera. <laughs> or turn it around. That Oops. looks interesting. <laughs> it does. It sounds like it looks like a connection issue. Carrie, oh. you can always go out and I can invite you back in. Or you can request to join if it's a connection. Can you issue. all hear me? We can hear you. Okay. Carrie, when I to... requested to go live, the volume went way down. So I think I better plug in. An earplug? Can you see me? No. Nope. Oh. I don't know. Maybe we're looking at your ceiling. I don't know. <laughs> I wonder, should I sign off and try again? Yes. yes. Let, let me invite you again. Okay, that's what I'll do. I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay. It's happened to me before <laughs> where I've had to leave and come back. It's not a big right. deal. We'll, we'll try that again. We're going to invite our friend, Carrie Klassen, artist, to come and join us today. From where, Barb? California. <laughs> California. Five syllable words. Sounds good. <laughs> I think I have some extra syllables there. So are you hydrating? I, what are you hydrating with today? I've got a lime buble today. I've got my mango, and they've come out with watermelon, but I can't find it on the, I can't oh. find it in any of the stores yet. Huh. I do have seen mango, but I don't do mango. It's not my favorite thing. So what about whatever. watermelon? Would you do watermelon? I would do watermelon. Yeah. I I'm would definitely do watermelon. So I don't know where she is. I'm going to try her again. Carrie, they're all saying hi. They're saying yep. hi, Carrie. Where are you? Otherwise, we might just have to talk about square substrates. <laughs> and how we can spin them. <laughs> <laughs> I have one right here, actually. It's yours. <laughs> Me too. Oh, my gosh spin it yep that was really close at hand oh it i know why was. I the hands. we're talking about buying art from her we are just a second she's got a request to join let's see if we can get her on that way uh, i'm rusty i feel rusty about all this that's okay Carrie, there she is again in brown but we'll be able to hear her but not see her i don't know you cannot see on. me we can't nope. see you I'm so disappointed I have beautiful art by both of you to share. Well, um, I wonder why that's happening. You know what, should I try? I'm going to go to my MacBook Pro and give it a try. So can you send me a new invitation, Tamara? Yep, but I don't know if you can join a live on a computer. Oh, because it doesn't have the app. It doesn't have the app. It's through the Well, web. I hmm. wonder if you just... Actually, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> oh, there <laughs> you are. <laughs> okay. What did you have your hand Operator over? Operator error. <laughs> oh, I, I, did you have your hand over the camera? I've done that before. <laughs> uh, it's in the stand, and I guess it was accidentally. That's, you need to be good. able to hear y'all. Yeah, that's oh, good well. reason. I'll go with that. It was in the stand. <laughs> well, how, how are you? Welcome. I'm doing well. I still don't have a lot of volume. Let me try. Again. Let's crank it. Oh, here we go. Is that better? Yay. Okay. I think we're good. Oh, Yay. excellent. Yay. Yay. <laughs> it's so good to see you. Oh, thank you so much. Um, 
Y'all have been up to some big adventures, and I've been enjoying the armchair travel, especially with um, Barb's big adrenaline rafting. I, I just, I'm in awe. I'm so glad you're here with us today. <laughs> <laughs> so am I. And no broken bones, and no like lacerations, and none of the things that could have gone wrong went wrong. And uh, it was just a blast. I highly recommend trying it but go with a really 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 good rafting company yeah. and owl rafting was amazing the guides were superheroes the guys that barb, got us through the river just amazing barb vicarious rafting fills my boat oh does it okay <laughs> <laughs> hey i saw julie julie ellis is on she was our um last uh, guest before we uh took our little vacay yeah, and I Hi, saw Bonnie, Bonnie too. Hi, Bonnie. How are you? Hi, Bonnie. And I think I saw my mayor, Marianne yeah. Ward. From uh, she's the mayor of Burlington. So hi, Marianne, if you're on. Hi. That's so cool. <laughs> and Rachel's laughing, probably at Carrie's comment about being a vicarious rafter. <laughs> yeah, I thought you know what, Carrie, I am a like I am a, a chicken. I really am a chicken, and um, for me this was huge because I was scared to death. Like no saliva in my mouth, scared. That wow. scared. But I did. Were you it. able to? Were you? Here's the big test. Were you able to speak? Oh yeah. <laughs> you should have. Okay. Been <laughs> my friend, my friend Adrian was with us, and she's from Newfoundland, <laughs> so all her Newfoundland little expressions were coming. I can't repeat many of yes. them in oh. this particular format. But let me just tell you, we were howling. Like it's amazing. Well, I'm happy for life. you. Hmm? You know, when I was a child, we lived near Disneyland, and um, my parents took me for the first time when I was in kindergarten, and we went on the Matterhorn, which is a big adrenaline yeah. ride. And they, we came home, and they said, Carrie, we're so proud of you. We're, you were so brave. But the truth is I was too scared to scream. Oh. <laughs> no. But I liked it. I okay. liked it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, that's, that's what counts. That's what counts. So way to go. Excellent. Well, today we're going to talk about art and um, why we buy art and what attracts us to art. And Carrie wanted to talk about this with us. And I'm, I'm thrilled to talk about it because I haven't been selling any art lately. <laughs> no. Absolutely. <laughs> Can I give a little uh, backstory first? Please. Yes. Please. Okay, so there is this wonderful online art class called Art to Life, Creative Visionary Program taught by Nicholas Wilton. And um, in the throes of the pandemic, sitting here alone in my condo, I took that class and it was wonderful and it was a lifeline and it really introduced me my very first time to pick up a paintbrush and um, I found some really nice artist friends. Mm -hmm. And I don't know exactly when, Barb, you started posting from your tiny house adventure. Was that in 2020? That was, um, that must have been late fall of 2020 into, no, late fall of 2019 into 2020. When, actually, no, okay. when did this whole stupid pandemic start? It 2020. Was, yeah, it okay, was 2020. 2020 into 2021. I don't know. It was, right. it was then. Okay. Yeah. So anyway, the, the CVP class got me into Instagram. So I began an Instagram, and then I found Barb's posts from the tiny house surrounded by this beautiful icy winterland and she had her very she had her small substrates and her small table and a beautiful window and I just I was fascinated mm -hmm. and when I took CVP 2020 my goal was I'd never owned original art before in my life and um, my goal was to create my own original art for my home mm -hmm. and I was very ambitious and excited I, I, I'm artsy I'm a graphic designer I thought I could do this thing in three months. Well, <laughs> at the end of the three months, I was um, just beginning to really learn, you know, because I heard a lot of things for the very first time in CVP. I went on to take, I think, about six more art classes, um, learned stuff um, in much more depth, mm -hmm. and um, began practicing on my own. And in the meantime, I was looking around at my blank walls and at my Dollar Tree um, photographic print of the Eiffel Tower, which I had painted over by then badly. 
And um, I saw the work that Barb was producing. And I said, well, and also I said, I'm not traveling in 2020. I have a little extra budget. I think I want to buy some art. So I started shopping. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, the thing about abstract art is that unlike representational art, there's a huge variety, yes. you know, mm -hmm. bright colors, muted colors, um, square or rectangular, um, amorphic shapes or geometric shapes, um, soft edges, hard edges. There's just so much variety. And mm -hmm. I started shopping and I'm incredibly picky about my home. And I fell in love with Barb's art. And so I, I studied her website for a, a good while and yeah. peppered her with many questions. Yeah. And um, I made my first art order. And there I was in, I think, the fall or maybe even November of 2020, unwrapping a big box from Canada. And it was, it was just amazing. And part of what made that experience so wonderful was um, it's for me, and I know a lot of people buy art that just, that, you know, matches their walls, and that's mm. absolutely great. You know, as artists, we need all sorts of people that collect, right? Um, but for me, being an artist myself, um, being part of this community and being able to own art from someone that I knew and that I followed was just really meaningful and mm. wonderful. And I discovered for the first time the the deep beauty of something that someone else's hands created mm -hmm. and it's almost living and breathing in my home you know okay. and it traveled all the way from the east part of canada to me down in southern california and it was just wonderful and um through barb i got to know tamara and um that's been wonderful and um it's just been great. And I've, so I ended up buying pieces from both of you and, um, and I've enjoyed it. And would you like to see some representative pieces? We'd sure. be delighted. <laughs> and you're in your studio, right? You're, this I am. Is this okay. is my art studio and um, it's small. So I'm hoping I don't knock anything over when I, when I pick it. This piece is uh, 22 by 30 and um, I feel very fortunate to have one of Barb's um, floral pieces. Oh, because, I know which um, one. That was, a, that was, a limited, that was yeah. a limited time period offering. So yeah. with art, sometimes you got to grab it. Yeah. Yes, you're you right. you got to grab it. Okay, so this is called Lawn, Lawn Party. Yes. And it was painted in um, 2020. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I can get all of it on screen. That's pretty good. That's good. Yeah, and I'll just oh, bring it up so you can see. Some of the beautiful details. Oh, it's gorgeous. See those I marks? That. Yeah, that was my floral period. <laughs> yes, and I am a floral girl. I used to have a big, big garden. Um, and uh, I no longer have a garden, and I love having florals in my home. And I just wanted to mention that the paint on my walls in my condo, you can't see my hand, um, the paint on my walls, it's, it's called Silver Drop by Bear, Bear Paint Company. Mm -hmm. And I discovered, and this was all serendipitous, but it's a pale shade of gray palette paper. So, it? Oh. It, it, and it works well with my warm furniture and yeah. it works well with, you know, the cool granite countertops. It's just a great tone. Mm -hmm. And, um, but in my bedroom, because I, I did not have any art, um, it was, Okay, I'll admit it. It was a little blah. Mm -hmm. So I, I put lawn party above my bed, and it just warmed the space up. It feels like a different room, and right. it just really transformed that room. Um, I want to uh, show you another piece. When I was, I think, in third grade, my Aunt Joyce became um, a pilot. And for a very special occasion, she lived up in Northern California, um, for a special occasion, my mother and my sister and I visited Aunt Joyce, and she rented a small plane. And she flew us from Sacramento to the coast to a very famous restaurant called Nepenthe. And we had lunch there, and I didn't really understand how cool that was until later in life, yeah. you know? Of course. Um, but it was amazing. 
And I saw on Barb's website these paintings that looked almost like aerial views of the ground. And um, so I bought two in her flying series. And um, I like that aerial view. Mm -hmm. And as it turns out, um, Barb's father was a pilot, and yeah. she got to ride with him occasionally and get oh. the view of the ground. So that was a lovely connection. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's the cool thing about original art, right? It's not just the artwork, but it's the stories that are embedded in the piece or inspired the piece. And then the cool connection you make with the collector. So very interesting. Absolutely. Yeah. And then I want to show you my most recent art purchase, um, which was from Tamara. And, okay, on your Instagram today, you did this really cool post about rotating a square. Yes. That was great. And I will, con I will confess, sometimes it's not just art, it's a toy. Yes, of course <laughs> it's a toy. It's like a At the time, that, and these are called, this is Hint of Spring, number one and number three, and I, I grabbed them because I love them. And as you can see, this is, this is different from what she's painting currently. But I, I just love the colors. I love the black because the black ties in with my black granite. Um, and I've really learned to love this um, this kind of lime warm green. Yes. Beautiful. And um, at the time that I bought these, I was working from my sofa on a big monitor. And I was able to put these right at the bottom of the monitor so that I had art um, while I was looking at the spreadsheets. Yeah. And it, it's just been wonderful. They currently... And the fun thing about the small, these minis is number one, it's, it's a reasonable price point. Mm -hmm. um, and number two, they are, it's just fun to carry them around the house, to place them <laughs> in like different that. spots. Kind of these like have that. been, these have been on my bedside tables mm -hmm. and currently they're residing on top of my stovetop. Mm -hmm. And you know what I love about that size too, is if you have even more of them, they're almost sculptural. Like you can stack them in different ways. You can make them yes. these really interesting three-dimensional sculptures. I have a real interest in kind of putting things together like that. Yeah. Yeah. And you can play with them so many different ways. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. These have also sat on the console table under my TV. So anyway, art. My, my, la my latest most fun toy. I don't need, you know, a surfboard. Art will do it. Yeah, and you know what? There's something about them being on wood, that they're like the old wood blocks we used to play with as kids. Yes. I mean, like you, you can right. those obviously that size on canvas, but there's just something really cool about them being on wood. They're so clean, and I don't know. Oh my gosh! You guys just gave me an idea, which was I could stack them like this. I'm, oh, nice. absolutely! And actually, you probably need to get a few more. <laughs> And then just there you on. go. You can create like a little, like a little totem painting. Well, yeah. and you know, they come in, I, I love that four by four size, but I have a yeah. couple pieces that I bought from um, Monica uh, Johnson and they're even smaller. I What's think, oh, wow. I, I think they're two and a half by two and a half. I don't think that's oh, my goodness. Use. Like that's my hand, right? Uh -huh. I don't know if I've seen those before. I don't know if I've seen that size before. They're so small. I just, and they just, they fit in your hand and they're yeah. warm. Wood uh -huh. is so warm. It just feels so alive and organic yeah. compared to. And I admire anyone who has, number one, I don't paint on square easily. And number two, I don't paint small easily. So mm -hmm. anybody who can paint small and square has my utmost admiration. Mm -hmm. Well, the problem yeah. with square is you get addicted to it. There is something about a square format, and um, it's hard to break out of it. So when I look at Lawn Party, Lawn Party is a legit rectangle, and it's yeah. like you know it could have been it could have been a, a landscape, but it ended up being that that crazy floral. So was that before the tiny house time? No, that was after. Okay. That was it's twenty twenty. Yeah. Uh, Oh my gosh, it has to be, it has to be after. I don't remember. I don't well, remember. Well, you couldn't have, you couldn't have painted it while you were there. No, I didn't. I didn't paint <laughs> Not it enough after. space. Yeah, yeah, no, I didn't paint it's it. It's too big, there. yeah. Yeah, although I had, I had big pieces up there. I just didn't actually physically paint yeah. it. But yeah. they were all sitting on and, top of the cupboards. You know, Barb, I think um, I have one of your, the pieces that you painted in the tiny house because... Mm -hmm. 
Um, it was during your Ukraine yes. fundraiser. You did buy and it's just, bought, um, otter. Yeah, and it's just these lovely muted tones. And on this paint color, it just looks beautiful. And my girlfriend just went in. My, it's in my main bathroom. But, you know, you need art in the bathroom, too. Yeah. Um, especially, especially in the bathroom, right? Yeah. Um, and uh, she, my girlfriend went back there, uh, went to, to the restroom the other night, and she came out, and she said, oh, that piece of art is just gorgeous, and it looks like it was painted for your, for your house, you know? <laughs> Absolutely. And it's a good story, too, with that it little is. otter, who doesn't actually yeah. appear in the painting, but the spirit of the otter is in the painting. Oh, okay. And actually, my neighbors on the third story are from Ukraine. Oh, wow. I didn't know it that. All, it all ties yeah. in. It all ties yeah. in for sure. For sure. Mm -hmm. huh. So, so Carrie, do you, have you purchased any original art from artists that you don't know and you don't have a connection mm -hmm. with? No, okay. I have only purchased, I've only purchased from, I believe, I don't want to be a liar on, on, um, on a public record. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think I've only purchased from you too, both of you. Oh yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, and then this year, for various reasons, my spending habits have gotten more frugal. And um, so I'm, I'm not spending on a lot. I'm just trying to practice painting because, you know, I have lots of art supplies and I have lots of paint. Mm -hmm. I hear you. However, you know what? I wanted to offer something. I don't, I hope it's okay. This is just sort of spontaneous. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Well, That's how we roll. We, we are celebrating two wonderful occasions. Well, what, wait, you know, look, I'm going to put it out there, three, okay? Um, number one, it's Tamara's birthday. No. We're so glad. In, no, that was June. Oh. Wait, <laughs> what were those balloons we for, Barb? That. No, that's our brush anniversary. Oh, the brush anniversary. Okay, so, <laughs> you know, I'm, I can't I'm, covering, I'm covering more than today, okay? okay. Um, <laughs> numbers are not my forte, and dates oh. are numbers. <laughs> Okay, so Tamara's birthday. We're glad you were born. Thank um, you. <laughs> the, the NBR brush anniversary, and I'm celebrating ten years um, of surviving breast cancer. Ah, oh, that's fantastic. fabulous! Fantastic. Congratulations. So, um, when I previously appeared on NBR, I did share um, my process for harmonizing paints. Yes. And I'd like to offer today that um, and. I don't know how we're going to do the drawing. Maybe we'll figure this out easily. But um, I let's do a little a little drawing, and um, I will send someone a free four ounce bottle of one of my paints. Seriously? Which one, Olivia? Oh, the mother the mother color. Is oh my gosh! Okay, okay, you went right there, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, that I'm not sure about. Okay. Because this is kind of a top, you know what, I'm not giving away the recipe, but yes, I will share um, a four ounce bottle of my mother color, which is new, very nuanced. It contains about seven different Nova color paints. Mm -hmm. um, and it is in every one of my um, harmonized paints. So it's a really cool mother color that you can um, mix into anything to make a nice harmonized painting. And I will, I'll give away a four ounce bottle of Olivia. Oh my gosh. Okay. okay. We'll have to figure out how to do this. Well, yeah. See, so the easiest way would be for um, anybody who's interested to send a direct message to Carrie mm -hmm. while the show's live. Does that make sense? Oh, okay. So there's a time limit. Does that make sense? Oh, I like so that. it needs to be yeah. during the show. Okay, so uh, yeah. so we need to make sure people so, know how to. Um, I will Gary show. Out. I'll show my. Um, so this on. is what you could Once. do, Carrie. You guys could DM Carrie, and you could say, um, "Is it Olive or Olivia?" It's Olivia. Olivia, right? Olivia. Say Olivia, please, and then Carrie at. You could go into your DMs and look at them all and. Choose a random number. It's backwards. That's me. But... It's backwards. Oh, no. Uh, let's see. It's Carrie Clausen, artist. K E R R Y. Are you typing it in the comments? I'm trying to. Carrie, is there an underscore in it? 
No, it's Carrie Clausen, K E R R Y K L A A S S E N dot artist. It's okay. those double A double S that gets me every time. Yeah. Carrie Clausen artist, all one word. Dot artist. Dot. But if you type in Carrie Clausen, you'll find me. I'm, yeah. I, I think and, I'm, and I'm, it's I think like I'm the only one. abstract art or something like that, I think is like. Yeah. So send me a message, okay. and all you have to do is write the word Olivia or, or just yeah. hey. So you have about Anything. 25 minutes to do that. You have about 25 minutes. If, by by cool. 12 noon, by 12 noon. And then Carrie, you can just choose a random number and go down the order of them. Um, or I'm not, you know, my son is like this uber smart guy yeah. and he graduated, he graduated from Cal Berkeley. I think I'm going to let him pick. Yeah, you sure. can get those cool little spinner wheels too. With, you put all the names. Yeah, we can do some, we'll yeah. figure something out and then I'll post the winner and I will actually, oh, um, I will ship to, I will ship to Europe. You will. Uh, sorry. Yeah. I have to, I have to just hold back here for a second uh -oh. bonnie, bonnie just asked the question so we have to leave this broadcast i'm like oh uh that's not a good idea why don't okay we okay so i've after? got another idea yeah okay so how about um we open it up for one hour after yes one hour after, yes we'll put but you have to direct message me don't leave a message here on this broadcast no. so, so go to and you know what maybe um Tamara and Barb can post my um, we will my Instagram name after the broadcast, and then you guys can DM me in yep. so one hour after the broadcast yep. ends. Yep. So until we will, one. We okay. Will put cool. that in the story. Okay. Excellent. Thank you. Oh, somebody just DM'd without exiting. I don't know. It doesn't Ooh. matter. I'm oh wow. Uh, awesome. You, so you're thanks, in. Oh thanks, yeah. Bonnie, thanks, Bonnie, for bringing that up. But that works perfect. So we'll yeah. leave it. So till, we'll, we'll leave it open we'll, till we'll, one. Yeah, so if you have yeah. two devices, you can DM on the other right now. But yeah, we'll, we'll exactly it up for an hour after. Yeah, that. but yeah. that'll be fun. Yeah, Excellent. that means I can DM too. <laughs> and and this giveaway has nothing to do with Instagram. We have to say nothing. I have to find the legal the legal yeah. ease around. Oh it no no no! Otherwise. We're just celebrating um, some of our connections as artists and as people. Yeah. So Danielle Fun says so she makes her own paints. Danielle carries like the scientist artist. Well, Tamara is also the scientist for real yeah. artist, but Carrie is like a, a color scientist and she, you really are um, fascinated by the way that colors work and mixing and, and really getting into kind of the, the, um, the technical aspect, right? Of, um, and I document it all and I, in my um, sketchbook, it's almost like a, a field journal for a scientific study. Yes. I never was a scientist, but I really love the, and it's, you know, it's kind of, it's kind of plodding. You know what I mean? You do a, you do one mix and then you change it by maybe one drop. Mm -hmm. um, and all my mixes are based on four, four to eight colors um, so that I can easily mix them in four ounce bottles. Mm -hmm. um, but that's, yeah, I, I just, I've, I've learned so much and it's been really wonderful. We all, yeah, and it's all from, um, the Nova Color Factory, which, of course, this is backwards, but um, mm -hmm. there is a link on my um, Instagram because I do, I, truth in advertising, I do get a very small commission, um, but I love their paints. And if you're in the U.S. and um, they'll ship to you, they're quite nice. Um, mm -hmm. I like them, and I only use them, but I also can drive there in an hour and pick up my orders. Which we cannot so anyway. do. We cannot do. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. Very cool. Very cool. So Excellent. Now that we're talking art supplies, kind of. Yes. And I happen to be leaning on this. That's the only reason. Why. <laughs> because I'm kind of like doing this. Have you got, does Nova have the equivalent of the acrylic inks that Liquitex, I mean, lots of, lots of companies do this. Does I Nova find it so interesting that you would ask that, Barb. Really? <laughs> yes. Look at these. Okay, I have bought several bottles of ink. Now, when I'm when I'm in my um, middle of the night painting frenzy, I like to get things done and go. And you know, you guys know I've put stuff in my oven to dry it quickly. Yes. And for some reason, I don't know why. Where I live is fairly humid. Um, those inks just don't dry, and then they smudge. And sometimes I don't want them to smudge. So I have actually um, mixed my own ink from Nova Color Paints. Hmm. 
So this is a color called amber. Um, and it's, it's as fluid as ink, but it just dries a lot faster. It's, I don't know, I think the polymers are stronger or something. I, I love it. And I've, I've been playing around with some really interesting mediums from um, Nova. For example, this is called Novaplex 235. And see how liquid it is? Mm -hmm. it's, like, it's, yeah. like a, it's like an airbrush medium. So mm -hmm. it's got the full polymer bonding capability. So you're not losing um, the grip of the paint that you do sometimes if you add too much water. Mm -hmm. um, so I've just been, actually I've been sort of addicted to this lately. So every time I pour out one of my paints, I add some of this and mix it. And I've been having fun painting fluid lately. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Have you ever used the Golden High Flow? For those of us who don't get Nova, I've tried their high, um, Golden High Flow. I'm gonna show flow. you. What I use, I actually um, got this originally, and it's the Golden Airbrush Medium. Right. And same gig, it's very liquid. And um, this is a little, it dries a little bit more matte. Mm -hmm. So this one, um, the Nova one, and of course with Nova, you always have to put it in your own bottles because it, it comes in jars. Um, the Nova one is a little more glossy, but mm -hmm. um, it's just fun to play with. And I could always mm -hmm. add some matte medium to make it less glossy. So Sometimes, you're, though, if you're, if you're glazing, a gloss, a really clear gloss is wonderful. Yeah. yeah. So are you using the, the inks on um, canvas or just paper? Both. Yeah. Um, so, for example, this. I don't know if you can see the, um, see the brown? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I wrote some um, words in there. I was... I was remembering, I have to start with something, you know, how abstract it is. The blank, the blank substrate is just, it's harder to get started on than if you're, you know, you're seeing, oh, there's a tree and there's a lake and um, there's some bird, mm -hmm. you know? Um, so I was remembering playing under the mimosa tree in Anaheim, California with my sister. Mm. And um, I'm going to give a shout out to her. She's having a, a cancer surgery on Thursday. Oh, and I was wishes. just, yeah, um, I was just remembering some happy memories from our childhood together. And so I wrote that on the canvas. Nice. Sometimes I write poems like from yeah. a Mary Oliver poem. Um, so I use it to sort of activate the canvas. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And sometimes it peeks through, sometimes it gets covered up. Yeah. Um, but so for me, I have to, in some way, I have to connect mm -hmm. yeah. before I start. Yeah. No, me too. Mm -hmm. I just, you I think, I mean, I love the idea. I love the idea of, of you know, artists who use words and, and, you know, kind of channel their intentions onto the substrate. I just have to slop paint on. Like, I just, there's something to me about slopping paint on. And with no, I almost don't even need to see which paint I grab color almost doesn't matter because it's going to change anyways but I love the inks to do that with the really thick heavy body acrylics and then you get your little yeah. water spritzer and it just goes well I love what you do Barb it works well, thank you I don't know <laughs> sometimes I think it works better than others but uh but you it's know fun. interesting because your background you went to art you went to a, a very good art school mm -hmm. and you taught art and Tamara was um, a scientist. I have worked a lot in business, um, not completely. At one point, I was a professional writer. But um, I think the way that we paint reflects the way that we think. Oh, for sure. Mm -hmm. <laughs> for sure. You could. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. It says a lot about, about um, kind of like what you how you tend to do things, solve problems, how you approach challenges, how you make decisions. Roman would say, I'm like super spontaneous. <laughs> so that right. would be, yeah. Uh, we just had a question. Well, I'm sure, I, I don't think he would ever be bored with you. I don't think so. <laughs> no. There, there can be times I'm sure I'm quite dull. Uh, we had a question, how deep are the, the four inch blocks? I think, were they an inch and a half? I think, yeah, one and a half. And the brand name that I get is Apollon, but that's because that's what Desair's, yes. Would it right be that there. one? It would it be is. that one, exactly. And uh, yeah, Apollon is uh, through Desair's. I love these. And these are birch. They are. They're birch. 
They're their lovely. other ones, they they have some other small ones, but I <laughs> this is going to sound gross. They smell like a wet dog when you paint them. This one is actually a little bit bigger than an inch and a half, but that's part of the fun of it because it's chunky. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's gallery depth. Right. Right. So it's actually one in five. Five eighths, eighths or something. Yeah. Yeah. Five, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful. It's wonderful. Mm -hmm. Excuse no, me, I have to play. Excuse me, I need to play with my art for a moment. Do it. <laughs> Do it. I was going to say, you just, when you were talking about different ways of getting into our work and the way, the way we all have these different backgrounds, there was a quote that I, I can't, I'm going to botch it, but it's like, the way you do one thing is the way you do all things. Do you know that quote? You know what I mean? Yeah, I know. I, it's I like, know the word. it's like, it's like you have, you have a general way of approaching projects, life situations, and it's kind of the same. Yes. Um, you carry it with you. And so yeah. the way I do science is the same way maybe as the way I do art. And mm -hmm. I don't know. No, I can totally see that. Cause I think about how, I paint and, and at what parts of the process I kind of get um, more anxious about and then how I can kind of release that anxiety and I think about how I make decisions in life where you know it's all exciting at first about something and then you kind of find that oh but then there's the what if what if what if what if and then you kind of resolve that and you move on which is pretty much how I paint <laughs> it's like there's that 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 kind of like <sighs> part that's a bit of a struggle yeah, and I'm I'm just more analytical, and I really yeah. fight that because I I love being in flow, and I always want to not be constant. I want to turn, dial down that part of my brain when I'm painting. Yeah. I don't want to be listening to constant the constant monologue about everything. Yeah. I want it to go away for a little while, but um, yeah, that's a work in progress. And something yeah. I've really noticed because um, Tamara and I have you know we private message and have phone calls occasionally, which has been lovely, but. I'm always um, interested because most everything you do, I know you get into flow and you're very creative, but a lot of it is very well reasoned. You know, like how you come up with a color palette for, for a series. Mm -hmm. um, and I just, I always find that very inspiring. Mm -hmm. um, but I think it's because my, I kind of am in the middle between left brain and right brain. And, you know, when you work as a creative for a corporate 500 company, mm -hmm. it's, it's very different from being an artist in your own studio. You know, you're, you're helping the business reach objectives by what you write and what you feature. I, I was the editor of the company newspaper. And I went to very high-level meetings, and I had to understand what ROI was, return on investment. Mm -hmm. I knew that. And to be able to... <laughs> Show your face you crack, right here. You crack me up, Barb. <laughs> this is why I know ROI. Don't get right in. Hello. Hi, Roman. Hi. He's Hi, back. ROI. <laughs> they had a carry. Got it. Don't Hi. get right in. Move here. Hi. Hi. <laughs> There's not enough room for the two of us in this frame here. Oh, you guys are you guys are just cozy. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Bye. Bye. Okay, that's why I know ROI. Cause <laughs> yeah, and at the same time, I mean, you guys both, both make really, really compelling, beautiful art. And I just think that it's because I did have that opportunity to take CVP. Um, well, I guess this is a shameless plug for Nicholas Wilton, but um, I, learned, <laughs> I learned so much about how to build a painting and the depth of a painting. And I, f I went to my first art exhibit in last year, in the fall of 2021. I got to go to SF MoMA and see the um, Jean Mitchell. Oh, um, Joan Mitchell. Joan Mitchell, yeah. Joan Mitchell retrospective exhibit. And um, I cried because it was the first big exhibit I had seen with all of this knowledge in my head to really understand how she built those incredible paintings, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. And it gives me this, so when I buy a piece of art now, I understand it at a fairly deep level, mm -hmm, you mm -hmm. know? 
Do you feel and, like you know, when you when you look at a piece of original art, especially something that you've purchased, that you look at it, you can almost see or sense the artist's process in what they've painted. So it's almost like you can kind of see through the layers to the, the foundation of the painting and and almost like, yeah, get a sense of how they did it or I don't know if I'm explaining it right, but I think since CVP, I look at paintings very differently like you, mm -hmm. knowing. And another person, I'm gonna make another shameless plug who is I see is on this call is Jane Burton. And um, I don't know if you all follow her. She's a Bay yeah. Area artist. And I love her makes, work. She needs her to work come is on and just talk too. incredible. And um, someday I hope to go to one of her um, workshops. But great. I see the way that, and she's so generous in her Instagram feed. There she um, is. I hope I follow you, Jane. If I don't, I will be. <laughs> Hi, Jane. <laughs> but she's so generous, and she shares how she mixes color, and she has this, these incredible process videos, and um, she just, she has a, an amazing sense of community, and yeah. she features um, artists in her feed. And like you all, you know, you're doing this with your um, Instagram Live. You're mm -hmm. you're um, increasing the sense of community, and I think it's really important because many of us, it, you know, painting can be very solitary. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, a hundred percent, a hundred percent. I think um, that for me is the the downside is the the fact that it is such a. T I mean, there are times I, I really love that solitude, especially if it's winter and there's not much else you can do you know you get some gloomy days painting is just a, a wonderful way to spend a day it's tough for certain times a year i don't know if you guys feel the same way but i feel summer it's like there's other stuff to you know get outside and, and do different things so yeah ebbs and flows. i feel like summer i i paint in this in the largest room in my house which is my dining kitchen living room mm -hmm. but there's something about the summer light because mm -hmm. that that wall back there is almost completely windows. And I think that the light where you live affects your colors and your art and to a certain extent, your energy level. Oh yeah. Um, oh, for sure. Yeah. And the, the light in Southern California is just so golden. Mm -hmm. And I feel like that influences my, my mother color, Olivia is mm -hmm. um, it's got that gold in it and the warmth and the, you know, we have, our plants grow year year round here, mm -hmm. and so we've always got we've always got green. Yeah, but a golden there's a golden hue to it. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Well, when you hike around when you hike around Southern California, for sure. Uh huh. And the sunlight is just this beautiful golden tone. Mm -hmm. Okay, bucket list. I got to, we have to get to California. We got we've got a, we've got something in the works about that. <laughs> I too. hope so because you know there's some other really wonderful artists here. Um, right now, Isabel Alessandra is down at the Festival of Arts in Laguna mm -hmm. yep. with a beautiful booth, and she is just you know recently I met her for a walk um, at it's it's this wonderful little I call it the Bunny Park, but it's it's this park in Newport Beach that has a bunch of um, beautiful sculptures in it and they rotate the art. It's a, it's just a gorgeous walk and to do the walk with an artist mm -hmm. and incidentally, mm -hmm. you know, what do they call it? Six degrees of separation yeah. or seven yeah. degrees. Six degrees. Um, yeah. Jane Burton's sister um, has a sculpture in that park and Isabel and I saw it and we were ooing and aahing and touching it um, wow. last <laughs> month. That's awesome. Yeah. Sam, yeah. Who, whose message just went by, said she just got her painting from uh, Faye Bridgewater today. Sam, have you opened it? Oh, I think she said she opened it. We'll have to check. That would be such an exciting moment, I'm, I imagine, especially you know if it's coming from far away, to unpack art. I always it, get, to, I always get to get the camera out to do that. Because I, you know, afterwards I'm like, oh crap, I should have done that on camera. Other know. people would have liked to see me open it. <laughs> I know, I know. And then, then you can like do a foolie, put it back in the box. Yeah, but you can tell. Open it. I, know. <laughs> I know. Oh dear. Do we have any questions for Carrie? I wonder, because we have a few minutes left. If yeah, we want. I didn't see anything pop in yet, but please 
We've had lots of great uh, comments. We lots have. We yeah. have. And if any of you guys are joining us late, we have Carrie Classen with us right now, and she's a color expert extraordinaire. Um, she came on MVR, I don't know, was it last fall maybe? You and talked to us. Yeah, you yeah, talked to us a lot. lot about color and your color mixing. And yeah. um, she has a, a, a gift to give to somebody today. So once this episode's over, once the broadcast is over, you need to go and message her before 1 p.m. Pacific time. And I will leave all the details in the show notes. And she's going to give somebody a little four ounce bottle of her mother color. Bonnie, oh, I, I see that. Bonnie said, did you see Pauline Jen's opening? It was Bonnie huge. Carmel? It was, it was huge. a vlog. That wasn't truck. <laughs> that was a branch. A tree. Okay. Amazing. I love this. I love this next question. What is my favorite Nova color? Well, I could take the the easy answer would be all of them, but oh my gosh. And I did do a post about this because, you know, um, I fell in love and I'm looking for it. And of course I can't find it, but their Payne's gray is just gorgeous. It's, I call it, it's like navy -licious. It's just beautiful. Yeah. And I think the reason. Payne's gray, how they're all different depending who you buy them from. They are, and, and Nova says that they have a red in it, and um, it just seems more nuanced to me, but um, Juliana Bader, who um, is part of, you know, another connection from CVP was, I made some friends, and I think we've been, we paint together on the weekends over Google Meet, and I think we've been doing this for about a year now, and um, these women, oh my gosh, they're just... Um, one, Juliana has a French accent. She lives in Boston. Um, another painter, Bruna, um, has this wonderful Italian accent and lives in Chicago. We have two from Vancouver. We have one from Toronto. And we have one in Santa Monica with a lovely British accent. And she is currently in the UK right now. Um, so I've just, these, the friendships have deepened. And Juliana, this That's woman strange. thinks about before she, before she talks. And um, and she pointed out about Payne's Gray on my post that the reason I love it so much is because it's a mix, and she's absolutely right. Mm -hmm. yeah. that's so yeah. that's so great. You do that on Google Meet, and you're talking it's, while you're painting. Like, are you chatting? And we are chatting, and sometimes we just hear the sound of 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 sanding. Um, it's just so companionable. Nice. It's lovely. I used to, when I, I used to belong to um, Connected Artists and they had a co-create one day a week. Uh -huh. And it was the same idea that we could all be online um, uh -huh. painting and, and chatting. Although I found it, I found it hard to actually do any work while the conversation was flowing. Well, yeah, it's different. It's a different way of focusing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I know the Art to Life mm -hmm. Academy does that too. And I did it a couple of times way back when. But like you, I was like, I wanted to see what other people were doing and they'd hold up paintings and ask for feedback. So I would end up <laughs> doing more looking and, and, you know, maybe providing feedback than actual painting. Yeah. But it's almost like too. you need a project like gessoing panels or. Yeah. Like yeah. Like I, I put, um, and here's another example of our, of, of our community. I put um, some Nova gel on this canvas to cover up these layers because I need to do more. And I wanted to be able to pull a mistake off quickly if I needed to. Um, and I, I just saw a post recently. Um, let's see. She's an attorney. Her name is Marie Claire Tillotson. She lives mm -hmm. in the southeast. Yeah. And she had, put a, she had done a post about that. And it, I just really love the generosity of so many of our friends here mm -hmm. because it gives you something new to try. And when you try something new, Magic captions. Yeah, yeah, it's true. Yeah. You did have a question here. I'm just going to ask. Um, oh, Janet says, do you only use Nova exclusively? Any Golden, Liquitex, or Windsor Newton color you like or use? I must confess, I only use Nova. Okay. I, I'm a very, how do I say this? Um, loyal to a brand. <laughs> I, I'm not cheap. I'm not cheap. I believe in quality. But Nova is just this incredible quality of paint, and it is professional level. And when I've gone to their factory, um, the Nova gel. Oh, 
Marie Claire Tillotson, she, she had a post about um, putting a layer of the Nova Gel um, in your painting somewhere. And it gives it a lot of depth and it really gives clarity because it's clear. You is know? it like right. gloss? And then you can. Like, like, is it like gloss putting that in? No. It's, I'm going to show it to you. I use, see how thick it is? Oh, it's yeah. like soft gel, probably. Like yeah, so I use this and I just smush it on. Yeah. Fun. I'm looking cool. at the time, Tamara. Oh, you Fix are. Your, you're the I know you're semi jet lagged. <laughs> I'm doing okay. Sad face. You are doing okay. <laughs> I got air conditioning blasting on me, so I'm doing okay too. <laughs> but uh, we have to wrap it up soon, otherwise we lose the recording. Well, happy Stay anniversary. Crying. And thank you thank for you. coming today and chatting, and thank yeah. you for your generosity. And I will um, link everything up in the show notes. So you guys, as soon as you get off here, if you haven't already sent a DM to Carrie, Carrie Klassen, um, Art, you need to do that if you wanna win her, Olivia, her mother color. Fabulous, fabulous. All righty. Well, All thank right, well, you. Thank you, ladies. Thank you. Cool. And, um, we will see you all next week. Thanks, everybody, for tuning yeah. in, whether you're catching on the replay or you're here with us live. Have a great Goodbye. rest of your day. Goodbye, beautiful Goodbye. art friends. Goodbye, beautiful Goodbye. art friends. Bye. <laughs> Already on. Already on. <laughs> <laughs> Bye.